Then allow me to continue. Last time, we were surprised that the Valkyria called your name, Captain. We wanted to know what in the world was going on, but we did our best to resolve it internally. In other words, we decided not to ask. We're here to take down the Valkyria. We don't need further information. Uh-huh. But right after we decided that, this happens. We're having a hard time turning a blind eye to what happened today. Who is this Maria? You knew who you were talking to, didn't you? You knew, and that's why you pleaded with it and said other things that made no sense. This is utterly untenable. We let the Valkyria vamoose, Hans has gone to meet his maker, and our captain is catatonic. Answer us, Hamlet. Who is Maria? What does it matter? We are asking the questions here. Tell us, what is that Valkyria to you? And don't think you can play the ignorant fool after everything that's happened. We're just confused, Captain. Sometimes we don't know what you're thinking. But we're soldiers, so we put aside our doubts and concerns. Did our jobs. Still, we need to know why. Why'd you let the Valkyria go? You had it. Please tell us there's a good reason. I hate to say it, but that wasn't like you, Captain. Had you handled things differently, maybe the main force, Hans? Amlet may as well have murdered them himself. You should not say such. I can't keep serving this bastard's every bloodthirsty whim. Isaac! I, for one, will continue to fight under Amlet's command. Doesn't all this secret keeping and strange behavior bother you a little, Princess? What matters is that we defeat the Valkyria. That's not what I asked. For our fallen soldiers, for Godot, I will not hesitate to secure Jutland's future. That is my mission, and I cannot abandon it now. The war for liberation rages on. Velgiev was a step forward, yet we were unable to break through. All we can do now is formulate a new strategy and try again. <sighs> Aren't you just putting the problem off to the side? I wish only to focus on the most pressing issue at present, Jorder. Why didn't you tell them about Maria? Because I made a promise. Even if keeping it causes the squad to fall apart? I've kept my word thus far. Amlet must choose to tell the truth for himself. We cannot escape this war. We can only win it and move on. The Anti-Valkyria Squad is nothing without its captain. Jutland is likewise hopeless without Vanergand. If vengeance drives him to fight, then only revenge can save our kingdom. <sighs> that is what I believe in my heart of hearts. However, it is also why supporting Amlet is my only choice. Good. You have returned safely. This pleases us. I was but one step away from destroying them. I regret being unable to dispose of them properly. 
No matter. They doubtless shall appear again. Yes, sire. When that time comes, I will use myself as bait to draw them out and eliminate them without fail. Understand, Maxime? I will manage them. As you please. And why, pray tell, did you not eliminate them? Because I do not have the right to do so. The right? Yes, sire. I will take my leave now. Your Majesty. Vexed again, it seems. Victor has already given word of the man who seeks revenge. <laughs> Amlet Gronkair. No? We hear he bears a grudge against us and the Grand Generals for our past actions. It appears he even started this war to fulfill his vendetta. But so long as he is powerless to act before the Valkyria, he stands no chance of taking our life. After all this time, uncertainty became his true opponent. I sensed the same in the previous battles. I could not see any determination in him. His swordsmanship was from a man filled with unease and uncertainty. Oh, so that is the reason you could not kill him. <laughs> Have you the will to do unto others before they do unto you, right or wrong? Good or evil? Such heavy thoughts caused you to hesitate, no? <laughs> your silence makes for eloquent proof. Whatever your misgivings, they matter not to us. We have said this before. You were chosen. You are the one. Follow our lead. Obey our command. Our destiny demands that we use your sword to its fullest, for together we shall conquer all Europa, nay, the world. I am not worthy of such words. Such a pity. Not even our words can reach you now. So be it. Stand by for now. Make no move until your doubts are cleared. 